I just can't thank him enough. Here we go, Aiden Rigby, as we go racing into one for heat number 16. And there's an XF Falcon out in front, and we're three, four wide in the mid-pack with Berkeley. One of them, the 17 machine of Anderson. The 99 Barrows in this one as well, so is Colby Hammond in the 17. And the 28 of Wesley Barnes looking to the inside of Barrow on the way into one and two. The 34, your race leader though, Braden Creek in the one of the best presented cars, the XF, and look at Barrow to the inside, to the outside, from the windows to the walls, crisscross engaged from Braden. Can he get the job done on the way into one? Here comes Berkeley on the top side as well. Two down, eight to go, and the field is still absolutely stacked. Race leader is Barrow. Berkeley through now two. Barnes and the 34 of Creek continue to battle for third. Here comes Berkeley. No contact there with Barrow. This is going to be a nice race to watch up front. Barrow keeps the lead on the exit of two. The two sits in second. That's Berkeley. Battle continues for third between Barnes and the 34 of Creek who drifts up high there. Barnes might get the run, although Creek, the Ford 250 cross low torque, pulls him back around the outside of the 28 machine. Is up front. They are going at it. Berkeley and Barrow. Barrow continues to lead. Five down, five to go next time by, and there's still plenty left in heat 16. Yeah, so it's Barrow crossing the line. Berkeley right on his rear bumper. A bit of a gap, then it's Barnes and Creek continuing their duel. Next up in fifth is Matthew Hutchison, followed by Colby Hammond, Neil Keldoulis, Gemma Laidlaw, Toby White and Rodney Anderson. But look at Berkeley this time. He's a little further up, he's trying a slider. Can he get through on Barrow? Barrow very good on the top. Berkeley shooting for his third win in as many starts. It'll be a perfect start and I think he's now gonna clear him. He'll lead this time pass by 0.048 of a second. More carnage in turns three and four. Anderson, one of those involved in the DJR look-alike Mustang. Yeah, Toby White, the 33, the other one, I think Toby went around first, and unfortunately the 17 machine had nowhere to go, just clipped the 33 and got the wall, the front end of that 17, coming to the infield just for a look. Gee, this will be interesting to see whether uh, Joel Berkeley retains the lead or with it going back to the uh, previously completed full circulation. Whether Dylan Barrow resumes, it looks like uh, Joel will stay there. Wow, what a start. Barrow all over him here on the restart. And he dives to the bottom immediately looking for a slider. Can JB go a high low? Barrow nearly loses it. He's sideways, he gathers it back up. Oh, he's coughed up three, maybe four positions. But now he recovers. Oh, look out, the oh, XF no. went around. Massive. Crunch, 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 crunch. Neil Cowdoulis involved as well. Braden Creek, who was really doing a fine job in that top four. Backing behind them could uh, possibly be the VA19 of Matthew Hutchinson. The green now waving. Gee, there's the, uh, the 99 of Barrow. Can Dylan Barrow gather it back up here? Can he make any inroads? What have we got? Four laps remaining. Gee, that's the easiest pass Barrow will ever make in his life. The ill-handling 19 just pushed up track and he was able to dive underneath him. Colby Hammond starting to uh, show some glimpses of form here. Also uh, tucked in behind him somewhere, the 33. But it's all Berkeley with only a couple of laps remaining. This will be three wins for him three maximums for the Maryborough sign rider I'm calling him the Maryborough mauler because that's exactly what he's done here tonight it's been impressive less than 370 meters remaining of Timus Speedway he's attacked this track he's been cool calm and calculated Barrow now trying to throw everything he's got at Barnes for second, but he can't do it. Wesley Barnes hangs on for P2. Dylan Barrow has to be content with third in the end. 
In fourth, Neil Keldoulis in the Q17 from the V17 of Colby Hammond. Toby White in the N33 in sixth. Gemma Laidlaw in seventh. Rodney Anderson in eighth. And Matthew Hutchinson in ninth position. Three from three for Joel Berkeley. Jeez, he's looking fast this weekend. I mean, really, is this guy? Is this guy the one that's going to be the going to be the one that takes the chocolates this weekend? Well, we'll find out. Joel Berkeley, mate, you just make it look easy out there. Seriously, I heard you had a bit of an issue out there. What's going on? Oh, nothing, nothing major. Just been struggling a bit of a clutch slip all night, but um. We'll, we'll pull her out overnight and tune her up. It's been an issue since heat one and felt bad for doing there. I don't know if he got put back two spots for overlapping me and yeah, that's what I tried saying that the clutch is slipping. So not much you can do, but um, yeah, we'll so walk away with three wins from three starts and we've got a second row start in our heat race tomorrow. We're in a pretty good spot. So just got to be smart in our heat race tomorrow and we should be at the front for the pointy end to start the feature. And um, I don't know, see what we can do for 40 laps around here. It's going to be cool. It seems like the track's starting to bring a little bit of moisture back with how um, cold it is, but cool joint credits to Timmers for what they're doing. And um, yeah, thanks to everyone that's helped out. Um, oh, Dad, Mick, Kai, Rach, everyone's helped out this weekend. And I guess we're going racing. That we are. Joel Berkeley taking maximum points. Back to you, Johnny.